you mentioned tiling window managers a couple of times. Um, when did you first try one out, and why? Like, what about tilers appealed to you? Uh, so, <laughs> like I mentioned, well, that was also my first time. Like I mentioned, the reason I started using a tiling window manager was because of macOS. Um, mm -hmm. Like the window management in macOS just wasn't good enough for me. Like um, even with the third-party applications, mm. such as you know things that try to mimic the um, window-style application snapping, mm -hmm. they they just they're like that, but they're a bit less featured, a bit, bit less feature, less rich compared to the Windows experience or something like you know GNOME mm. and a bunch of other things as well. So the the window management stuff was just really bothering with me with macOS because it really like made using the computer difficult. So I discovered that the creator of Osu was using macOS okay. in his live streams and he was using uh, this tiling window manager called Yabai. And he had, like his setup looked like completely different from default macOS because he had like uh, some kind of a uh, like a bar, like the poly bar type things on macOS uh, mm. and then the tiling window manager and a bunch of shortcuts and stuff like that. And mm. that gave me like some hope that I might be actually able to use macOS. And I tried out, I tried out the uh, Yabai window manager, which is apparently similar to i3, but I, there are some differences which I noticed. But I actually really liked it in the sense that it actually, I, it took me some time to get used to it. Hmm. But after I did, it genuinely was like really nice to have like when I open a browser or some application that it full screens, and when hmm. I open a new tab or detach a tab or something like that, that it put it side by side and stuff like that. I don't have to. Um, it's I like the automatic nature of it, mm -hmm. and you know, it's just easier to use a computer when it's um, <laughs> when when it, it does things like that automatically. And once you get used to it, it's hard to go back to a floating style yeah. window manager yeah. I, for sure. I keep telling people this, I'm like, no, no, I tiling's not that great. Try it. Try it. Yes, it's happens. it's something you have to try. Yeah. It, it, it because like I was also like before I was essentially forced to use tilings uh, a tiling window manager I was also like like eh, like like when I saw those uh, you know screenshots and stuff like that there's this um, you know you have the Unix porn subreddit right mm -hmm. and then it's like you have a counter culture subreddit to that which is a uh, productivity I don't know if it, it was something like uh, usability porn or something like that, mm -hmm. which was supposedly the same thing, except it's supposed to be more usable. And when I looked at it, it was like, what is the difference? Both of them are just, you know, you have no buttons on the windows and stuff like that. It's like, it feels so like, these set setups se seem so unfunctional to me. <laughs> and tiling window managers felt like, like, okay, they're probably nice, but they seem so complicated. And I need, I know that I need to use a floating tiling like floating type windows in these scenarios and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's probably not worth it for me. But once I once I actually tried it, then there's like there's genuinely nothing to lose. Like um, unless you need to have like certain features from desktop environments mm -hmm. um, that you lose if you use a um, window manager that doesn't have those features. Mm -hmm. So what really helped me was that when I installed Yabai on macOS, it was still, everything was still exactly the same as on default macOS, except that it's just tiled. Mm. So I still have the dock. I still have all the buttons on the windows. All of the default shortcuts still work for the most part. You know, um, so everything is exactly the same, except I can now use a few shortcuts to, you know, control the tiling and things tile out automatically. Mm -hmm. In that case of a, in that scenario, there truly is nothing to lose. There's only the gain mm -hmm. from having a tiling window manager. Mm -hmm. And once I got used to it, it's like it's so easy to use as well. Like it's just like, for example, for resizing a window, I just use the super key plus WASD. It's mm -hmm. like it can't get any easier than that, essentially.
oftentimes I still use my mouse to resize, but like, yeah, the heavy donkeys there are nice as well. Yeah, like um, I, I still use my mouse a ton. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of yeah. like one of those things which people are scared about is that uh, I want to use my mouse, you know. Yeah. yeah. But you you can still use your, your mouse. Like I use my mouse just as much as I did before in a way. Uh, because, for example, when I do video editing, I need to use my mouse like all the time. Mm -hmm. So, the way so like, uh, but even if I use my mouse, if I have my hand on the mouse, I can, like I said, my um, window shortcuts on are on WASD. My other hand is still on my keyboard, so I can use my mouse and the Tyler in conjunction. So it's like best of both worlds essentially. Mm -hmm. I don't have to use my mouse to move windows around or to like resize windows even though i still do that sometimes because like i don't always have my hand on my keyboard for example mm -hmm. i might be drinking water with my keyboard hand and moving things around with my mouse hand mm -hmm. and so on so like you can still use your mouse just as much as be as before even more in some ways because it's it's even going to be easier to use your mouse when you can like you know change the position of two windows just by dragging one window on top of the other, and mm -hmm. then they automatically switch positions and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is this weird... I guess you would call it, like, uh, tiling purism thing, and I guess it kind of comes from... It, it sort of <laughs> comes from, from, like, the the people who use Vim as well, where everything yeah. has to be a keybind. You have to use your mouse as little as possible. Never take your hands off the homebrew sort of thing. Um, when I got out of that mindset, I started finding Tyler's like way, way more useful. Uh, one thing I want to ask is, um, so with your buy, does it do like dynamic tiling or is it like I3 where it's manual, where you have to like pick the direction the split is going to happen? Uh, it's dynamic. It's like, um, uh, I think it's called the golden ratio ah, tiling. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's That's like, just the um, default that everything uses if it does dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I just saw it in like, I think, awesome WM as well, which yeah. is actually something I tried before before trying i3, but it was like, um, there was like something in awesome that um, that set me off. Uh, I Do think you like it was, writing Lua code? If you like having <laughs> Lua, Awesome's great. Yeah, the config was pretty crazy. Like, uh, yeah, I thought yeah. it was in C sharp at first, or <laughs> at least I heard something like that. That'd be nice. That'd be nice and easy to configure. Nope, nope <laughs> it's Lua, and I don't know Rip. Lua, so it's 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 an experience to play around with it. Um, if I was gonna jump to another one, I'd probably go to something like um. I'm forgetting the name now. Not Xmonad. Uh, Qtile. Qtile you configure with uh, Python, which I yeah, find yeah, a lot yeah, easier yeah. to work with. I did hear about that. Like uh, I watched a few a few days ago. I watched the video by that one guy who makes videos about tiling window managers a lot. Uh, the, the, the all the names are so similar. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Uh, the Linux something, Linux cast, maybe. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, let me just make sure that it isn't someone else. Yeah, Matt did do a video. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, uh, it was a video by him that mm -hmm. talked about customizing things in Python. And I'm very well versed in Python, but mm -hmm. for me, I'm at the point where I don't really see why I need to write custom stuff for tiling window managers yet mm -hmm. myself. Even though that would be nice, but like, uh, what, just to go back a bit. Um, one thing about Awesome WM, which which made me switch away, was that well, first of all, it was a bit complicated mm -hmm. at first, but um, the there was something like I don't remember what command it was. I think it was I wanted to move a window up. So let's say I have mm -hmm. um, two windows, or like. One window on the left, like from top to bottom, mm. and then two windows stacked on top of each other yes. on the right. And I wanted to move the bottom window up to where the you know the upmost position. But okay. I think when I googled it, there was no command for it. And when I like, I don't remember if it was that exactly or if it was something else. But it, like the response was something like, "Well, it's technically possible if you use this third-party script for it." 
or something like that. And then I was like, just like, maybe okay. <laughs> maybe you're explaining it weirdly because I'm, I've got a hotkey to do that, no problem. Maybe I am doing something different. Um, uh, I I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something like that, and I was surprised that I couldn't like maybe it was something that like 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 some that I can do it outside of an adjustment mode or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but mm. it, it, the point is that there was something that was a bit you know um, confusing at first. So mm -hmm. I decided to try i3 because I actually had tried it like. Um, I mean, I had already tried it a long time ago, but like back when I, <laughs> back when I knew what, back before I knew what tiling window managers were, I just mm -hmm. saw i3 mentioned a lot, so I just installed it, mm -hmm. and I couldn't do, really do anything on it because you know, um, I hadn't like like no ex like no clue what to expect. I thought it was just another desktop environment, mm -hmm. so I decided to try i3, and that worked pretty similar to Yabai. Um, in terms of configuration, for example, but um, it that didn't have the that dynamic tiling thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it's, my you know with manual. Um, yeah, there is scripts to deal with that, like yeah. um, order. What is it called? I three auto. What the hell is it called? Auto. -tiling. Yeah, something like that. Auto tiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I I actually haven't minded it that 